Hello friends, welcome back in the Rose Project. Student, I am Dattatre Zado from Sadguru Gadge Maharaj College, Karad, which is a branch of Rayat Shikshan Samstha. This lecture is conducted for Rayat Online School Education, that is Rose Project. Students, it is our sixth lecture on indefinite integration which is on examples on integral of the form integration of 1 upon x square plus a square dx or integral 1 upon x square minus a square dx or integral 1 upon a square minus x square dx or integration of 1 upon root of a square minus x square dx or integration of 1 upon root of x square minus a square dx or integration of 1 upon root of x square plus a square dx. Students, we simply remember this type as numerator contains 1 and denominator contains two terms in which one is a variable square and other is constant square. To solve these examples, we need some formulas on some special integrals. Here are the formulas on special integrals. First formula is integration of 1 upon x square plus a square dx is equal to 1 upon a tan inverse of x divided by a plus c. Second, integration of 1 upon x square minus a square dx is equal to 1 upon 2a log of x minus a divided by x plus a plus c. Here, remember x square minus a square can be factorized as x minus a into x plus a. There are two linear factors. So, starting with 1 upon 2a into log of negative factor is in numerator that is x minus a and positive factor is in denominator that is x plus a plus c. Third formula is integration of 1 upon a square minus x square dx is equal to 1 upon 2a log of a plus x divided by a minus x plus c. Students, here a square minus x square can be factorized as a plus x into a minus x. Since there are two linear factors, therefore, starting with 1 upon 2a into log of positive factor is in numerator that is a plus x and negative factor is in denominator that is a minus x plus c. Fourth formula is integration of 1 upon root of a square minus x square dx which is equal to it is simply sin inverse of x divided by a plus c. Fifth integration of 1 upon root of x square minus a square dx is equal to log of x plus root of x square minus a square plus c or it is simply remember as log of x plus denominator plus c. Sixth integration of 1 upon root of x square plus a square dx is equal to log of x plus root of x square plus a square plus c or simply you remember this formula as log of x plus denominator term plus c. Seventh formula is integration of 1 upon x root of x square minus a square dx which is equal to it is 1 upon a 
into sec inverse of x upon e plus c. Students, to solve the examples, you must remember all these formulas. Here are the steps to solve the examples on integration of 1 upon variable square and constant square dx. We can use the following steps. First step is make a coefficient of x square is unity. If it is not, second step is write the second term in the denominator that is the constant term in the denominator as a perfect square. Third step is use the special integral formula. Students, here is our first example. Evaluate integration of 1 upon 4 x square plus 11 dx. Solution, let i is equal to integration of 1 upon 4 x square plus 11 dx. Remember here, denominator contains one term of variable square and another term is of constant. So, clearly its example on integration of 1 upon x square plus a square dx. So, first step is make coefficient of x square is unity if it is not. Here coefficient of x square is 4. So, taking 4 common from denominator. Therefore, i is equal to integration of 1 upon 4 into x square plus 11 divided by 4 into dx. Here in denominator 4 is a constant. So, taking 1 upon 4 constant outside the sign of integration. Therefore, i is equal to 1 upon 4 into integration of 1 upon x square plus 11 divided by 4 dx. Here one term is of variable square. Now, we write second term as a constant square. Therefore, i is equal to 1 upon 4 integration of 1 upon x square plus clearly 11 divided by 4 is square of root 11 divided by 2. So, I am writing second term as root 11 divided by 2 square into dx. It looks like integration of 1 upon x square plus a square dx. And we know that integration of 1 upon x square plus a square dx is equal to 1 upon a into tan inverse of x divided by a plus c. But here a is equal to root 11 divided by 2. Therefore, i is equal to 1 upon 4 as it is into 1 upon root 11 divided by 2 into tan inverse of x divided by root 11 divided by 2 plus c. 2, 2 is are 4. Therefore, i is equal to 1 upon 2 root 11 into tan inverse of 2x divided by root 11 plus c. Therefore, integration of 1 upon 4 x square plus 11 dx is equal to 1 upon 2 root 11 into tan inverse of 2x divided by root 11 plus constant of integration c. It is our final answer. Next example is evaluate integration of 1 upon a square minus b square x square dx. First, we denote this integration by i. Solution, let i is equal to 
integration of 1 upon a square minus b square x square dx. Here clearly the coefficient of x square is b square. So, making coefficient of x square is unity. So, taking b square common from denominator. Therefore, i is equal to integration of 1 upon b square into bracket a square divided by b square minus x square. Here b square is a constant. So, take 1 upon b square constant outside the sign of integration. Therefore, i is equal to 1 upon b square into integration of 1 upon a square divided by b square minus x square dx. We know that a square divided by b square is a divided by b bracket square. Therefore, i is equal to 1 upon b square as it is into integration of 1 upon a divided by b bracket square minus x square dx. It looks like a square minus x square and we know that integration of 1 upon a square minus x square dx is equal to 1 upon 2 a log of a plus x divided by a minus x that is log of positive factor divided by negative factor plus therefore i is equal to 1 upon b square into here a is equal to a divided by b. So, 1 upon 2 into a divided by b into log of a divided by b plus x divided by a divided by b minus x. Making denominator same, so we write this as a plus b x divided by b whole divided by a minus b x divided by b cancelling b. So, we simply write integration as i is equal to 1 upon 2 a b into log of a plus b x divided by a minus b x plus c. Therefore, integration of 1 upon a square minus b square x square dx is equal to 1 upon 2 a b log of a plus b x divided by a minus b x plus c. This is our final answer. Next example is evaluate integration of 1 upon root of 3 x square minus 7 d x. Solution first denote the given integration by i. So, starting with let i is equal to integration of 1 upon root of 3 x square minus 7 d x. Here in denominator coefficient of x square is 3. So, making coefficient of x square is unity. So, taking 3 common inside the square root in denominator. Therefore, i is equal to integration of 1 upon root of 3 into x square minus 7 divided by 3 into dx. We know that root of m into n is equal to root m into root n. Therefore, i is equal to integration of 1 upon root 3 into root of x square minus 7 divided by 3 dx. Here root 3 is constant. So, taking 
1 upon root 3 outside this sign of integration. Therefore, i is equal to 1 upon root 3 into integration of 1 upon root of x square minus root 7 divided by root 3 bracket square dx. Since 7 divided by 3 is square of root 7 divided by root 3. It looks like integration of 1 upon square root of x square minus a square dx. And we know integration of 1 upon square root of x square minus a square dx is equal to log of x plus square root of x square minus a square plus c that is log of x plus denominator term plus c. Therefore, i is equal to 1 upon root 3 as it is into log of x plus the term in denominator that is root of x square minus root 7 divided by root 3 bracket square plus constant of integration c which is equal to 1 upon root 3 log of x plus root of x square minus 7 divided by 3 plus c. Therefore, integration of 1 upon root of 3 x square minus 7 dx is equal to 1 upon root 3 into log of x plus square root of x square minus 7 divided by 3 plus c, which is our final answer of the given question. Next example is evaluate integration of e raise to x by 2 divided by square root of e raise to minus x minus e raise to x dx. So, first denote the given integration by i. So, in solution let i is equal to integration of e raise to x by 2 divided by root of e raise to minus x minus e raise to x dx. We know that e raise to x by 2 is nothing but root of e raise to x and e raise to minus x is nothing but 1 upon e raise to x. Therefore, i is equal to integration of root of e raise to x divided by root of 1 upon e raise to x minus e raise to x dx. Here, denominator of e raise to x is 1 making denominator same. Therefore, i is equal to integration of root of e raise to x divided by root of 1 minus e raise to x bracket square divided by e raise to x dx. We know that root m divided by root n is equal to root of m divided by n. So, root of m divided by n is equal to root m divided by root n. Separating root in denominator, therefore, i is equal to integration of root of e raise to x divided by root of 1 minus e raise to x square divided by root of e raise to x dx, which is equal to integration of root of e raise to x into root of e raise to x divided by root of 1 minus e raise to x square dx. We know that a into a is nothing but a square. So, root of e raise to x into root of e raise to x is nothing but root of e raise to x bracket square which is equal to e raise to x. Therefore, i is equal to integration of e raise to x divided by root of 1 minus e raise to x square dx. We know that here 
derivative of e raised to x is e raised to x. So, we solve this example by substitution method. Put e raised to x is equal to t on differentiating. Derivative of e raised to x is e raised to x into dx is equal to derivative of t is 1 into dt. Therefore, e raised to x dx is equal to dt. So, we replace e raised to x by t and e raised to x dx by dt. Therefore, i is equal to integration of 1 upon root of 1 minus t square into dt. We know that integration of 1 upon root of 1 minus x square dx is equal to sin inverse x plus c. So, integration of 1 upon root of 1 minus t square dt is sin inverse t plus c. Replace t by e raised to x. Therefore, i is equal to sin inverse of e raised to x plus c. Therefore, integration of e raised to x by 2 divided by root of e raised to minus x minus e raised to x dx is equal to sin inverse of e raised to x plus c, which is the final answer of the given question. So, thank you for watching the video.